Preparatory work. The installation site should be free from dust, keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tours and terminal accessories are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Stripping. Strip the outer sheath of the cable according to the length of the installation instructions. A plus L. L equals terminal hole depth plus 3 millimeters. Leave 30 mm steel plate at the bottom. Strip the rest of the steel plate. Leave 10 mm inner sheath at the root. Peel off the inner sheath of other cables and peel off the filler. Be careful not to scratch the copper shielding layer of the cable. Wrap the copper shield at the cable end with PVC tape. Grounding. Wipe the dirt on the 50 mm peeling surface of cable outer sheath. Polish the oxide layer and paint on the steel plate surface with sandpaper. Secure the armored ground wire to the steel armored with a constant force spring. Wrap the constant force spring with PVC tape. The ground wire is fixed on the copper shield with a constant force spring staggered with the armed ground wire. And the filling glue is wrapped from the constant force spring to the outer sheath. Wrap a layer of insulating self-adhesive tape around the filling adhesive and lap the outer sheath 10 mm. Wrap a layer of sealant around the connection between the cable outer sheath and the insulation self-adhesive tape. Copper shielding and half guide layer processing. Strip off the copper shield and semiconductive layer of the cable according to the ruler. And use a tool to chamfer the incision of the semiconductive layer to make a smooth transition with the insulating layer. The end faces shall be neat during stripping, and the insulation layer shall not be scratched.
at 3 mm to the depth of the lock hole and cut off the insulation. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. When polishing the insulation layer, be careful not to polish to the half-guide layer. Coat shrink, tubing installation. Mark shrinkage 20 mm down the copper shield with PVC tape. Insert the coat shrink casing in the correct direction. Put out the support strip aligned with the contraction mark and shrink the coat shrink casing. Terminal header installation. Clean the surface of the insulating layer towards the semiconductive layer with cleaning paper. Wrap the semiconductive tape in semi-lap mode on the copper shield and lap the semiconductive layer 5 mm and lap the coat shrink tube 3 to 5 mm. Make it a smooth slope. Use a ruler to locate the terminal installation reference line and mark it with PVC tape. Use cleaning paper to turn the insulating layer towards the semiconductive layer and clean the surface. Apply silicon grease evenly on the surface of the insulating layer. Put the terminal head on the cable. Align it with the installation reference line. Put out the support bar to shrink the terminal head and put the support bar counterclockwise. Crimp the lug and cover the ceiling pipe. Cover the lugs, press the lugs according to the national standard and remove the edges and burrs of the lock. Wrap sealant around the wiring lock crimping area to fill in the gap between the installation layer and the lock and the lock indentation. Wrap a layer of installation self-adhesive tape around the sealant. Cover the coat shrink sealing tube. Remove the support strip and cut off the excessive coat shrink sealing tube. Installation finish. Clean up the site. Thank you for watching.